one, two, five, four, five, Ayurveda series. This episode is a special one in connection with National Ayurveda Day. In this episode, the lifestyle modification during COVID I am presenting. And I am dedicating this episode to the well wishes of Ayurveda. I recommend a new lifestyle to be followed to fight against the pandemics in future and also to build immunity for the body as lifestyle modification has made the people into misery. So in this episode we will go through lifestyle modification during COVID and also after COVID to be followed regularly. So this episode the first part I am stating about the National Ayurveda Day and after that section is about the lifestyle modification in COVID. Okay, let's have a look at this. National Ayurveda Day 2020. This year's theme is Ayurveda for COVID. So starting with the National Ayurveda Day. First, salute to Lord Dhenadri. Shankan Chakram Jalukam Dathamardagadam Charu Tobis Chadurbihi Sukshma Swichati Kriddhyam Shuga Pari Vilasan Mauli Mamboja Netram Kalam Bodhu Jalankam Kaditada Vilasa Charu Pitam Baradiam One day then Venterim Tam Nikila Gadavana Prouda Dawak Vilam Salute to Lord Dinudri who holds a conch discuss leech and pot of nectar in his four beautiful arms whose crown emits a fine clear and pleasing glow who possesses eyes like lotus petals body dark like the deep ocean wearing a yellow robe fastened to his waist and who playfully burns the vegetation of diseases like a huge forest fire. It is said that Lord Denvantari is the god of Ayurveda and Lord Denvantari is the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. So we will first look at the difference of what is uh, difference between the uh, Lord Vishnu and Lord Denvantari. Uh, both are having four hands in the picture you can see. Upper right hand, upper left hand, lower left hand, lower right hand. And in Lord Vishnu, upper right and upper left hands for Lord Vishnu and Lord Dhanvantari are having conch shell and discus. Whereas uh, for Lord Dhanvantari, lower left hand is having leech and lower right hand is with pot of nectar. For Lord Vishnu, the lower left hand is having male and lower right hand with lotus. So Lord Dhanvantari is the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. So there is a picture of difference you can find out from this both from the Samudra, rising from the Samudra. And coming to National Ayurveda Day, National Ayurveda Day is celebrated as a birth anniversary of Lord Dhanvantari, God of Ayurveda. This day falls on Trayodashi Tithi, that is 13th lunar day of Krishna Paksha, dark fortnight. Dhanvantari Trayodashi O Dhantares is the first day of the festival of Diwali in India. Government of India has declared this day as National Ayurveda Day from 2016. And the aim is to increase awareness about Ayurveda in society. Let's have a look at the theme of the previous year. So in 2016, it was celebrated as the first National Ayurveda Day. It was on October 28th and the theme was Ayurveda for Prevention and Control of Diabetes. 2017, it was on October 17th and the theme was Ayurveda for Pain Management. 2018, it falls on number 5. It is theme is Ayurveda for public health. 
2019 when it comes it was on october 25 and the theme was ayurveda for longevity this year 2020 it's on november 13 and it was for this ayurveda for covid and we have seen the logo of nation ayurveda day let me explain what is the in the logo so in the center of the logo you can see lord dhanvantari and five petals as the it symbolizes pancha mahabhutas and three dots are the below the petal and it represents vata pitta kapha that is the three fundamental functional entities and one leaf is encircling the entire thing and that describes nature as the best way for healing so coming to this ayurveda for covid here are some tips or few modifications which i suggest for your betterment of health so ayurveda lifestyle modification in covid that is the topic so you can reschedule your life to stay healthy by following this principles so let's have a look of that ayurveda states body mind and soul as the three pillars of life so three pillars of life that is called as three dandas have told in previous video audios three dandas are the three pillars and it is shariram manas and atma satvam atma shariram cha traya meda tridhandavat so sharira is equal to physical health manas is mind mental health atma is soul or the spiritual health we can say and you can improve your physical health mental health and spiritual health so let's see a few tips so ayurveda lifestyle modification based on this physical body so sharira or the physical body so here three things we have to check that is ahara ahara nidra brahmacharya this ahara nidra brahmacharya are called as sub pillars sub pillars traya ubastampas trayo upa upa means sub upa tampas ahara nidra and brahmacharya so here ahara is related with food nidra is correlated at sleep and brahmacharya means it charya activities it's a disciplined or behavioral activities changes so brahmacharya nidra ahara so here i am giving few tips regarding these three factors so first we will have a look at the diet so it, we all know that we should take balanced diet so balanced diet includes carbohydrates proteins fats minerals and vitamins and it should according to ayurveda our food should always be having six rasas shad rasa pradhana aahara that is madura amla levana kadu tikta kashaya madura amla levana kadu tikta and kashaya rasa this should be in the moderate so our food should contain all the balanced diet second uh, we have to add a pinch of turmeric powder to our daily menu because it is enhancing the immunity and this is very uh, important during this covid phase to build up immunity and also we have to flavor our foods with the spices are very intense spices are very good for our health so flavor the food with powdered intense spices like uh, red chili flakes coriander cumin fennel mustard pepper etc try to use fresh foods and also foods which are suitable to your health it depends individual uh, based on the prakriti each individual will be suited with few foods so you should select that uh, food which is suitable to your body and try to 
eat that i am coming to the quantity of food quantity is also very important uh, so regarding quantity fill half of the stomach with solid foods quarter of stomach with liquid foods and leave quarter of stomach empty next it is uh, when you are eating pay attention to eating only should not be distracted then only it will affect the health and also eat when there is a desire for taking food so these are the few rule, few tips which i have taken for this ahara part next coming to the nidra part so nidra or sleep we know that night is a recommended time for sleep so after a day activity the sleep is recommended and also when body and mind is tired there will be sleep is sleep occurs or we can adjust sleep timing to our work pattern that is example some will be having night schedule some will be having day schedule of duty so you can adjust your sleep timing to your work pattern but you should ensure that the average timing of sleep should be 6 to 8 hours for a normal average adult and the important thing related to sleep is that sleep wake cycle is the sleep wake cycle so in the 24 hours sleep hour is attributed only 8 hours and the 16 hours is for wake so 8 hours sleep is compulsory and in the 16 again we can uh, cut to again 8 into 8 so 3 8 hours in the 24 hour so this first 8 hour you can do for a lot for this working schedule works and the other 8 for your personal things like bathing etc relaxing bathing etc. so personal things so this 24 hours red schedule in this way and also the sh- sleep should be without any interruption you should be getting a good uninterrupted sleep that leads to health then the third point is about the brahmacharya or the activities disciplined or systematic activities so this is also equally important to ahara and nidra and in this activity i am uh, considering this exercise also exercise that is vyayama and also some sadvrutas is category belonging to this brahmacharya part so exercise is very important to build the health so here i am uh, requesting you to have whole body exercise uh, such as aerobic stretching stretch aerobic exercise stretching exercises these are all the aim is to have the movement of the whole body and it should be minimum 30 minutes and regularly you have to follow that regularly 30 minutes and the limit is that you are getting a good sweating so sweating is the good quantity of sweating as a limit of exercise so exercise is also very important walking also is recommended and the uh, the sadvrata or the virtuous lifestyle or in the acharya is telling about ayurvridhi punya ayurvridhi gana punya ayurvridhi gana nashtakrataya vridhi gana so that also promote health in good health so Uh, in this pun- gana gana means a group of things so in that seven things are the punya ayur vridhi gana seven things are the first one is that you should have a service mind or a charity mind and you should be kind to others you should be truthful have to control your behaviors always be thankful and be in company with good words good thoughts and good deeds and also to have health promoting 
medication and health promoting food so these all comes under this activities so by this you can build a good physical health second pillar it is related with manas that is with the mental health so your mental health i have categorized again into three things that is feel therapy talk therapy and the vibration therapy so first one we will have a check of this mental health how we can build the mental health so sit calmly and feel your mind and calm it the center where you have to feel the mind it is the heart after that second step it is first step is feel second step is talk to your mind and the third step is that to vibrate your mind or the inner consciousness so that vibration you can do whenever you are free or whenever you are doing work just to have a om or hum whatever just you have to feel the vibration in the center in that is in the chest region or the mind so by this you can modify your mental health and the last factor that is related with atma or the soul or i can i suggest it as a spiritual health so spiritual health here are also three factors i have classified into three that is meditation or dhyana breathing exercise or pranayama chanting or ucharana so here keep in check of the spiritual health by doing first step is meditation that is you have to concentrate to a point that point in the head region or in the ajna chakra or brow madhya you can have a concentration point breathing exercise that is by inhaling and exhaling that is pranayama and also chanting of the religious works it is other than prayer prayers can be done all the time but chanting you have to take a suitable time so these are the three uh, factors in the pillar sharira mana and atma which leads to physical health mental health and spiritual health and in these three 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 steps i have recommended and also lastly we will think uh, how we have to procedure for all these things so timing is very important for this to maintain the health so have a fixed time for all these activities so exercise uh, first exercise i have told in the physical body exercise that is for 30 minutes you can have the exercise regularly and mental workouts uh, each you can take 5 5 minutes 5 minute each so total 15 minutes and also the spiritual health also three steps 5 minutes each with uh, total 5 minute each with total of 15 minutes so total 30 minutes and 15 15 so one hour timing regularly you have to spare for building your health this can be achieved gradually only so at a time you cannot do all this so gradually you increase your time minimum as this so in minimum one hour out of 24 hours daily you have to devote to improve your health to fight the covid and one optional thing i can say that when you are doing all this timing is very important but uh, mostly preferred time is brahma muhurta but it may not everybody cannot follow that so it is optional only brahma muhurta that is coming between 4:30 am and 5:30 am with the average of 5 am so in that 5 am time the energy level will be high that's why it is preferred for doing all the spiritual and mental health activities 
but it is only optional. So by uplifting all these three levels of health, this leads to the social well-being automatically. So that during this COVID pandemic, you can change your lifestyle and follow this to have a life which is longer with good health and good wealth. So try to follow this. I am recommending this. Thank you.